I added some clear story windows to a basement wall, which was uh, just a sided wall with uh, cedar lap siding. Inside of the wall was sheetrock. I added clear story windows. Clear stories are nice because they're high off the ground, so you get light added to the room, but you get to maintain privacy. So I put a row of these in, and I put them in between the studs, so they're 14 and a half inches square and uh, didn't require any structural work. I used this material. It's a primed finger-jointed material. It, uh, it's great. It acts like wood. It cuts like wood. It's not uh, dusty like MDF. It comes in 16-foot lengths with a perfect primer on them. So what I did is uh, once I'd cut my holes, which I'll show you in a moment, I uh, measured to make sure I was going to rip my parts to fit, kind of fussed around measuring. I basically built a uh, frame, like a picture frame, face frame using biscuits with 45 degree angles out of 1x4 material. The box is I made out of 1x8 material ripped down to the depth of my wall, which I was measuring for. Simple box attached at the corners, face frame attached to the front, and I just built four of those. And really they're that simple uh, out of this primed finger joint material. So here I am taking the 16s, which are a little bit unwieldy and I just cut them down into pieces that I could make four sides per board out of so they'd be a little easier to handle in the sled on my table saw. So I'm just uh, cutting them down here with a miter box. Again, these were one by eights or basically three quarter by seven and a half. Once I had them cut into manageable pieces, I ripped them to the depth of the recess in the wall after measuring from the frame of the window to the flat surface of the sheetrock. Uh, I just ripped all of the boards to that uniform depth so that I was working with uh, material that was going to work for all four windows pretty simply. Then I just put a stop block on my table saw sled for the shorter pieces are two short pieces and two long pieces per box. So I cut all eight of my short pieces with this stop block on the, sh on the sled, whip those out. Then to get the long pieces, I uh, simply moved that stop block. Now it was off the edge of the sled, so I moved the stop block to my fence, adjusted it to that longer length and cut the remaining eight pieces that way. Once I had those pieces for the boxes, I'd already made those face frames, again, just like a picture frame using uh, 45 degree corners and biscuits and glue and, and then sanding and finishing. Uh, I just put my boxes together. I put the boxes together pretty simply. I used a screw and a countersink drill bit. It's, it's smart to countersink these. If you drive a screw into the end grain of this finger joint material, you're going to cause some swelling that will show up in your paint job. So it's best to drill for the screws. So I drilled those out and then I literally put the screws in with a screwdriver. Uh, I just clamped each one, got the screw in just to, to hold the box together, then line things up so that everything was square and plumb and flush and uh, shot some two-inch brads in uh, top and bottom on each one of those panels. They made for very rigid panels. Uh, before I applied the face frames, I would check them for square. And then I was also careful to nail the face frames without splitting out. So the wall I had to work with was uh, lap siding on the outside, cedar lap siding on the outside, half-inch sheetrock on the inside, two by six wall, 16 on center. So in order to flash those properly and cut the hole, here's what they look like as a finished product. But in order to flash those properly, I went about it this way. I used uh, this sticky back tape. It comes in eight inch wide rolls. It's a flashing tape. 
it works like a million. I, what I had to do is remove about six courses of the siding to expose the building paper. Once I'd done that, from the inside I marked where the hole was going to be and then slit the building paper, folded it out like this, and then cut through the half inch sheathing to expose the hole. Then I folded those three flaps of building paper into the opening like this and then across the bottom I apply one piece of the 8 inch wide flashing tape. Next you put the window in with a bead of silicone caulking around the flange and set that into the opening. Then two more pieces of the 8 inch wide flashing tape on top of the window flange and over the piece at the bottom and then a fourth piece across the top again over the flange and over the left and right pieces. Then fold the building paper back down over that top piece and tape both of those joints left and right. Then it's a matter of just putting the siding back on and cutting it to meet the flange of the window and the reveal of the window and you end up with uh, as if the windows were always there. This is how it looked in the finished product. As far as the inside, uh, I was able to do everything through the 14 and a half inch square hole. I cut a hole in the sheetrock and uh, I put blocking in, top and bottom, left and right, put a top and bottom 2 by 6 in. I did all that through the hole, and once you have that hole, you just slide in your finished trim and face frame, and those just slid into the opening. Uh, what I did is just shimmed out around those four sides so that those pieces fit in tightly. I leveled them up as I shot them in. I'd shoot them in around the inside perimeter of the opening and then also I shot the face frames into the wall to hold them securely. And they went up very flush and very nice. I uh, used a level on each one to make sure they were level within themselves and the reveal against the window was the same on all four sides and then as I went down the line I also checked the level between the windows so that the four in the row came out perfectly level with each other. I'd already done that on the outside of the house so that if I measured my or, or uh, installed my trim with a, a consistent reveal on the outside window I ended up with a straight line on the inside as well. So there's the outside finished. Here's the inside finished. Again four clear story windows 14 and a half inches square done between the studs. No headers needed. No removal of sheetrock needed. They provide plenty of light and I think they look pretty good. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks again.